Research from scientists in Germany's Ulm and Munich may explain why the novel coronavirus is so infectious. The novel coronavirus's genetic sequence has a segment that produces a substance known as non-structural protein 1, or NSP1, according to a new study in Science. Writing for the team, Ludwig Maximilian University says ribosomes are cellular structures that interact with RNAs to produce proteins, including those that signal the body's immune system. When the novel coronavirus invades a cell, it inserts a piece of malicious code into the host cell apparatuses to make the proteins the pathogen needs, such as NSP1. This substance is not part of the virus, instead, it is a weapon that disrupts the ribosomes. NSP1 is a substance that affects the smaller of the ribosome's pair of subunits called 40S. NSP1 binds with the entry tunnel of the 40S. This inhibits ribosomes from signaling the immune system. The blockage then results in the collapse of a major line of defense against infections. Citing lead author Konstantin Spar, the university's news release states that the discovery may help to create new drugs that neutralize NSP1, which will mitigate COVID-19 spread. The virus not only possesses special proteins to paralyze the immune system, but it is also known to use a Swiss army knife-like tool called spike proteins to jack into cells. A new study brings clarity to how the Wuhan virus infects human cells. Researchers from China have used cryo-electron microscopy to show how SARS-CoV-2 infects humans. The study published in Science says the virus targets a type of receptor found on human cells in the lungs, heart, kidneys, and intestines. Additionally, the researchers discovered SARS-CoV-2's genome shares an 80% genomic identity with SARS-CoV and 96% with the bat coronavirus rat G13. A previous study published in Science found the virus spike protein has two receptor binding domains, or RBDs, facing downward and another facing upward. These allow the virus to bind with and invade human cells. The virus targets a human ACE2 receptor that has bonded with an amino acid transporter. This subtype of ACE2 structure has never been discovered before. The virus uses the spike proteins UP RBD to bind with the ACE2 structure, which enables the virus to enter and infect the cell. According to the researchers, their discovery may help in developing a cure or vaccine that prevents infection by targeting ACE2. To add to our problems, the virus appears to mutate quickly, a subject that we at Tomo News covered before. The coronavirus is mutating rapidly, and the pathogen has already developed into three main branches as of March 4, 2020, according to a UK-German study. Researchers from the University of Cambridge and Germany have used RNA analysis to identify three types of COVID-19 that evolved during the early stages of the pandemic. This study is published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Citing the team, the University of Cambridge writes in a news release that COVID-19 type A is the original human virus genome from the Chinese city of Wuhan. Mutated versions of type A were discovered in U.S. nationals who reportedly lived in Wuhan. Large numbers of type A virus were also seen in patients living in the U.S. and Australia. Strangely, the dominant variant in Wuhan was type B, which was prevalent across East Asia but did not spread much beyond the region. This means either a complex founding event happened in Wuhan or some factors had resisted type B outside East Asia. Type C is the main COVID-19 variant in Europe. The presence of type C was detected in early cases from France, Italy, Sweden and England. Yet this variant was absent in samples from patients in mainland China. Researchers also traced the first infections in Italy to Germany and Singapore, both of which had patients with the C variant of the coronavirus. What does all this mean? Well, apparently it's a very big deal. According to the lead author, the ability to trace the virus's family tree has the potential to help identify undocumented COVID-19 infection sources, which can then be quarantined to contain further spread of the disease worldwide. Scientists say the coronavirus is becoming more infectious without becoming more deadly. Here's why this is important. According to new research, the coronavirus had bifurcated into G and A viruses when COVID-19 spread to California in March. The study published in Cell states that the G viruses, which are now the dominant type globally, are differentiated from A viruses by variations in the spike protein. Spike proteins are the sugar protein structures on the coronavirus's shell that help the pathogen break into host cells. 
The G-type coronaviruses replicate more efficiently than D-viruses by a factor of two or three times. This means patients infected by the G-strain have more viruses in their body. However, testing samples from six San Diego residents, the scientists found that human antibodies eliminated the G-strain as well as, if not better than, the D-strain. In a news release, lead author Erica Sapphire of La Jolla Institute says being weaker and less deadly is perhaps the G variant's competitive advantage, as people who are asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic are more likely to infect others. The virus doesn't want to be more lethal. It wants to be more transmissible. It wants you to help it spread copies of itself. It wants you to go to work and school and social gatherings and transmit it to new hosts, Sapphire is quoted as saying. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.